Hello guys, welcome back. This is Play, and today I'm going to introduce you another door. So before I've been doing two doors in a row, but I'm still doing doors. I don't know why, but this time it will be a sand door, which is a, an underground door, which includes another feature. Because usually if you see this kind of doors, you would actually get um, two blocks of height instead of three blocks. But this time I've managed to make it three blocks. So before I crack on the tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how it works. So if you are going to go up you are going to walk through this um, I mean walk past this pressure plate and then just press the forward key and then you will be at the top and door resets and then if you are going to go down you can actually just press the button and then press the forward key again as you can see the sampler alternates and the door actually resets itself again so let's do it again to show you guys okay as you can see uh, the door resets itself and then for going down action gain okay so um, now I'm going to crack on with the tutorial but before that I'm going to sh um, notify you a little bit of a trivia or actually a flaw or a bug for this um, device because it actually only works for if you're building it in um, west facing west or facing east now um, I've done a little um, what's that called uh, an investigation on this project in um, and I copy that in the MC edit into here and rotate it about so now it is facing um, south or north that's actually the same but as you can see it actually doesn't work because I need this piston to be extending once in order to pull back this um, sand block but it actually doesn't work if we come back to um, the device here let me turn on F3 and then you can see that the uh, piston here can actually work but in that case they don't so be sure to actually check that out before you actually build this, build this thing if you can't actually get your um, direction right I prefer not to build this thing at all so um, that's one thing to notice and let's crack on with the tutorial so the first thing you want to need is to p place a stick piston and a slime block of course you are going to need sand here and the next thing you want to do is to check your direction and then you are going to place a unmovable block here which in this case will be the furnace and then a redstone here and then a a pressure plate here so the pressure plate will of course trigger this redstone and um, the redstone line will actually go here and then you will put another furnace here and then um, a block here and then a block here as well and then a block here and a block here and a block here so as you can see they are actually is, uh, alternating the pattern and um, it's really easy to see that and then the next thing is to put one repeater here and a repeater on one tick repeater on four ticks and then the rest on here and then a resting torch here so the next thing you want to do is to actually build a wall here a two, two block high wall and then just build a T-shape T here and then just fill it with redstone or actually if you do not want to do that if you want to save one redstone one piece of redstone is fine you can actually just place a torch here and then a block here so it works both ways of course and then the next thing you want to do is to place a redstone repeater on two takes here and then a block here and the redstone on top so um, now I'm going to place a stick piston here which would do the tricks and this would be the mechanic for left side and I can step on it again to open it and then what I'm going to do now is for the right side so for the right side you are going to put a stick piston here facing to ourselves and then facing downwards so of course you are going to need a block here in order to make it feel a little bit more fancy um, the next thing you want to do is to actually um, uh, put a block here and then a restaurant torch here so uh, the next thing is to put the repeater here on actually three takes and then a stick piece in here to make a monostable circuit and a block and a block here a block here and a block here and two blocks here so you want to place two redstone here and then a repeater on two takes and a repeater on one take so now I think that 
they are pretty much all done but we still need to hook up this um, this line block thing and I need to check the delay on that the delay is actually 3 ticks okay so now what you're going to do is to extract the signal from this repeater and then um, take the signal from here and then um, put a block here and a block here and then a repeater on 3 ticks and then just run the wire here so I believe that's pretty much it but before that of course we still need another send on here so now when we set on it pretty much it works so it alternates the send and also yeah it does sync uh, so what you're going to do is to actually um, hook up another piece another uh, input signal thing on the top because you need to get down so what you're going to do is to of course first surround the sand block here and then you're going to diagonally place a block here and then a button here and then what you're going to do is to place a block here and then a redstone and then actually a stick piston facing downwards and um, actually it's not not this case you are playing uh, placing a stick piston here and then a block here and then you are placing a redstone torch here so um, the input is pretty much done and I think it works just like that one just press the forward key yeah so it works just like that one and I think that's all for the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course check out my other videos about the two other doors which I'll showcase, showcase you now of course the um, auto jump door and also the um, 3x3 door but this one is a little bit tricky because it is um, it has a built-in tiefling flop okay so uh, but the problem is I mean not the problem of course the advantage is it closes and opens really really fast so um, that's all for this for the video and I hope to see you guys later and yeah I hope you guys good luck and bye bye